Hello, Art House Kids! How are you doing? This is Liz Miriam and we're going to be creating art in this beautiful space. I just wanted to check in on how you're doing today. Are you ready to create art? Let's start! So, I'm going to show you a quick and simple way of printing figures on your paintings. You have to practice over and over and over and I'm going to tell you what I was inspired from. Yes! Carrots! Carrots! Yes! Today we're going to be doing carrot people. And I want to show you something. You know that this is a carrot? Guess what? ta -da! Isn't that a carrot? Yes! And it's super easy to start doing it. Are you ready? Look, more carrot people, but these carrots have a little bit more character. They have movement, and this one, I even put some legs. So let's start working. There you go, carrot people, to the rescue. So first of all, you need a big paintbrush, a big paintbrush and any color of paint. I'm going to use a... Uh, black and then I'm going to turn it into blue, adding blue on top, okay? I'm going to show you. We're going to start adding first. I'm going to make my carrot. There we go. Carrot. One beautiful carrot. That's a carrot. And then guess what? I'm going to do the head. A dot. Right? That's a carrot. True? Yes. Now, I'm going to do another carrot. Uh, maybe I'm going to put it next to this other one. The head. I'm going to start with the head. But now this one, I'm going to give her a little bit of character. Oh! You see what's happening? It has like movement, right? That carrot. And then one thing that is very important, don't forget to add the shadow to ground it. Or... You have to think about the colors that you're going to be using. I'm going to show you the exercise that we're going to be doing. Uh, I think I told you that I was going to do it in blue, right? So I have a little bit of blue here. So I'm going to add blue on top of my black. And remember something. Wherever you have a dark color, your background, do it light. So do you, you have contrast, okay? I'm going to add as well dark blue here. And maybe these two guys um, are heading somewhere. I want you to, everybody to tell me a story. What is your carrot people? What are they doing? Uh, are they walking all together to a place? Look, this is how you ground them. You add just a little line for the shadow. And that helps you think, ah, they're not floating outer space. They're walking. They're somewhere. Now, I was telling you how to use the contrast. Let me see. Carrot, see you later. Look at this. I'm going to add a lighter color on the bottom. Okay, so this... A lighter tone underneath and let me show you something that's gonna happen here so whenever you have a composition like this what I want you to do is if I have dark for the people here I'm gonna add my background lighter so I'm gonna make a lighter tone and I'm gonna cover my background of my carrot people in light lighter colors i can use lighter blue yes i can or any color that you want as i was saying you can choose to add any lighter color or do it all in one color like a monochrome okay and wherever you have lighter where they're dressed like in light we're going to start painting them, the, that background, into dark. That is the Rembrandt style. Taking care of the light and the 
lighter color and a darker color. Let's go darker here with darker blue. Let's start adding my darker tones here. So you see? This was way too dark, but I'm lighting it with a little bit of white underneath, okay? So let's keep practicing. Enjoy your beautiful carrot, people. Tell me a story of the carrots. What's happening? Are they going all together somewhere? Why don't you do a full carrot people of your family? How many members of the family you have? And let's start creating carrot people. There you go. Enjoy, have fun, and see you on the next capsule. Take care.